Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to achieve list tag function functionality in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So if you are going to use list tag function at your this function in Microsoft SQL Server, so that to uh, definitely keep the error. So but if you are using list tag function in Oracle database, so you get to uh, some output. So at a, let's execute that. So first there are no any error. The use of list tag function is to whatever the columns. So at a, this is I applied list tag function on ename columns. So this all records are in a vertical formats. So after applying all uh, this all record here. Uh, so that will convert into the horizontal format so see at here if you execute so all name it's now it's uh, displaying in horizontal format so this is the use of list tag function so this list tag function works in oracle but if you are using list tag function in microsoft sql server so this will won't work so how can we achieve this kind of functionality and here after i'm going to show you one more thing so if you make to add your group by so group by dpt number okay so if you execute to this query so see at here according to group by it's concatenating of the values so column value it's a concatenating so see at your dpt number first and here if you execute this query so see at here, it's according to dpt number, it can categorize the values. So list tag function is working in Oracle database. So there are no any uh, error. So this is the inbuilt function here. Use this function and after that you can concatenate column values and convert uh, uh, vertical values. Uh, and here after you can transfer vertical values into horizontally. So at your color this all are vertical now after applying all list tag function so it's now converted into the horizontal format. So this is the uses of list tag function. So let's understand how to achieve list tag functionality in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So at your uh, selecting, so I'm going to show you post my table is so employee is my table and here let's so select from employee table ID. And here after going to select name and here after going to select DOD. So these three columns are selected. Now here after let's use a stuff function. So I'm going to apply the stuff function on location here or at location column. So distinct and here after let's give comma and here plus for concatenation let's give location now here after from employee a and p l o y employee so add here let's give the uh, table alias to now here after where clause so add here or t2 dot so i will select id to compare here of to t1 so t1 dot id now here after let's skip for xml xml and here xml let's skip path and here a uh, single code single code and here a uh, close and here comma one comma one and here after single code here now let's give the alias as call now from here or uh, give the table name from or uh, employee and give the alias t1 and here let's give group by and here or uh, id going to make group here after name in one group here after or d o d in one group so if you execute this all here 
So I'm getting the expected output New York, uh, New Jersey, here New York, it's all on expected output. So this is the things. So let's understand how's the query work. So I just select ID name DOB. So this is the order query. So first I'm going to uh, make one part of item query. So at here this is the auto query part here select from so here this is the auto query part so here auto query part so if you execute to this auto query so you will get the output this form so at your first to that select id name dob from t1 and your group by that making uh, here ID name so that here all the duplicate records animated by using group by and here this is the inner query so if you execute this inner query so I'm getting this output so if you want to add here ID so you can do that so if you execute the same query so see here the ID is the display so let's the copy here this format now if you execute this two query so see at here so add here and applying add here where clause t2 dot id so t2 dot so this t2 is the inner key report so t2 dot id so when that font one add here so one this value one is trying to uh, make the condition so at here t2 dot id value is one here t1 dot id value is one so this value is one and here after for xml path so about the XML part, I will discuss in my later video here. Yeah. So if I'm going to, uh, so uh, see at here one one applied. So one here, or uh, this the I applied to location on California. So at here one part is is now California. So you can apply one for one. So this is now at here New Jersey and here next is North Carolina. And here after like that to. Uh, or that to compare three columns at your three so three is in one group here three three so three is for at your california and two for here oklahoma so like that to that to make or uh, that to match the condition if condition is matched in for xml so let's see about the for xml also so about the for xml let's write to simple query select and here a uh, single code and here on location so location column going to use here uh, from employee table so employee table here after of uh, for xml for xml and here cross here cross single code single code now if you execute to this query so for XML here, I forget to give path. So let's execute now. So what output I'm getting? So see at here, I'm getting this output. So this is the output I'm getting here. So if you execute this query, so this query is now this format. Add here, this format. And if you execute for XML, so for XML now converted into this format. So that here, if you uh, miss id id match okay so id for add here or uh, this is the id so add here or uh, that make one group so add here inner query and auto query that make in one group uh, so that uh, if you execute here or uh, this auto query so here see so new jersey here this is a uh, new jersey or uh, new york north carolina so that in one group and after applying this for XML, so for XML, uh, the use of for XML, so whatever this value that uh, are getting from here, so this is the ID of one, okay, this is the ID of one, this is the ID of two, this is the ID of three. So one uh, employee ID one, so this now converted into the one uh, at this format. So this is the part of uh, at here employee ID one, and here this is the part of employee ID two employee. So when I'm using where clause, so where clause is the filter. So first, uh, that to uh, display employee ID. So ID one values here, and that apply XML. Here after in ID two, here apply XML, and here 
RA3, then that apply XML. So this is the use of XML. So whenever that font this value, so this value is now converted into there. So in XML, you uh, it's not necessary. Especially if you don't give for oh, at your bracket, so see at here what I'm getting. So at your row. So first to oh, at this part, let's give at here. Let's eliminate here this part. Okay. So if you execute this query, so see at here. This is the one row one part. Okay. It's the row one part. Let's make that bigger. So this is the all our row one part. So add your row one part. So add here the condition is or t2 dot so t2 dot here or id and t1 dot id. So one one match then here this is the output of one part and this is the output of two part row id two and here uh, add here row id three part. So this is the use of XML and this is the use of XML. Or uh, extra function in Microsoft. So extra function is here. So till this, this is the S string here. S start. Sorry, till this. Extra function. So this is the S string here. This is the S start here. Length and here add a string or uh, uh, space. Okay, not a space blank something. So if you execute here, so that here it's a display this. Now. If you give at your bracket bracket and inside bracket must be some no this is in right format execute that okay no any space in path no any space so see at here getting the expected output so id is now one per place and here id2 is the now second id1 is one part id2 is in one part id3 is the one part so execute this query. So see at here. Now uh, that combine idea ID match. So now uh, win that font or uh, idea ID match Jersey, New York, North Korea. So this is match. So that display at this place. And here uh, for three California this place and uh, for two uh, Oklahoma this place. So this is the things about uh, stuff functioning Microsoft SQL Server management studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you